Hi, I'm Gwen. I'm an occupational therapist with Emerge Pediatric Therapy, and today we're going to talk about engaging with foods as we approach Thanksgiving and holidays where there might be some different things on the table with big smells, different textures. So some signs that we might be a little uncomfortable around foods, some things that we look out for are um, if we notice that a child isn't able to look at the food, so they're kind of like looking around or like checking in with the foods, um, turning their body away or leaning back are big signs that we might be a little uncomfortable with what's presented in front of us, either visually, um, the smell, um, the texture, things along those lines. So a lot of times what we recommend is starting first with some sort of sensory activity. So in this video here, you see us doing a, um, it was a Thanksgiving themed movement activity. So it was different movements linked with different foods that they might see on the table. So we started with that. So we're getting some good um, full body movements, fun ways to introduce the idea of some of the foods. And then we transition to the table. Sometimes we see that that transition to the table is really challenging. And that's where the pushback begins just because there might be some scary things at the table, some different things that might make our bodies uncomfortable or give us a lot of information. Um, so once we do that, a lot of times we explore the food. So a lot of times we are always talking about um, like the properties. What are you noticing about that? We might hear a kid go, ooh, that's gross. But then we'd be like, hmm, what do you mean by that? Does it have a big taste, a big smell? Does it look like a lot? What about it is giving your body a lot of information? So you see here, like we're bringing attention to the food. So we're uh, wiggling them around or um, making them into things, making them into like art projects. And then there's other ways where if we're able to visually attend, then we can touch. And then if we can touch, we can kind of manipulate, um, notice the feeling. We can turn different foods into different things, um, things like that. We work to bring like up our hands, maybe they're touching with one finger. So we're gonna to touch with a whole hand, maybe we're gonna squash it. If we're comfortable there, then we can kind of move up with bringing it up closer to our face. So a lot of times what we do is like making things into mustaches or um, if we're able to do that, cause we're gonna get a big smell when we do that, then we might make them into like fangs or uh, walrus tusks. I don't know, um, things like that, just to kind of get a little bit of a taste. In this video, you see this, this kid turning um, a macaroni noodle into a whistle. So that was a good way to kind of bring that up to our mouth. We're getting a smell, we're getting a taste, things like that. So slowly working up those steps and increasing engagement. Um, and a lot of times we always say like keeping expectations low so we're not putting all of that pressure. I know sometimes as we're like presenting foods, um, we're sitting in the corner, just like holding our breath, seeing, oh, why, why are they gonna eat it? What are they gonna do with it? But kids tend to feel a lot of that pressure and that can be a lot of weight to work through as they're exploring some of these new foods. If you have questions or concerns about your child's sensory processing skills, reach out to us at EmergePediatricTherapy.com. Bye.